watch the whole ads or simply click at them to support the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss any new videos coming from this channel. And if video is playing too fast, you can adjust it by clicking at the setting and choose the speed. And you can choose the speed for the slower or faster. And if you click at the 0.25, you can see that videos is playing a lot more slower. And please study the abbreviation carefully before you proceed to the tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And I know I've been disappeared for more than some month again. My study life has been really busy and when I come back to the, to the room, it's already dark, so I cannot record any videos. So I just bought a lamp. So as you, as you can see, there's a lamp over here. So the light will be pretty sharp because it's the di direct light from the lamp. And yeah, let's get started. And today we're gonna do some snowman because I know I missed the Halloweens already. So let's prepare for some Christmas theme. So first thing first for the snowman, we're gonna start with six single crochet into the circle as usual. You can do magic ring if you if you want. I'm gonna start with two chains. So first chain second chains and six single crochet into the first chain you can do magic ring or any other method that you end up the first round with six single crochet in a circle shape any method it doesn't matter so four five single crochet six single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six. And when you got six single crochet like this, you may pull the tail a little bit to, so there's no hole in the middle. I do slip stitch to the first chain that I here. This is the first chain that we do. So we do slip stitch here. And one chain to start the second round. For the second round, I'm gonna do increase, which is which is mean we're going to do two single crochet into the same stitch for increase for each of the stitch that we done. So it's going to be six increase. So the first increase is going to be the same place where we do slip stitch, which is here. So I'm going to do two single crochet into the same stitch. So this is count as one increase. So the second increase to the next stitch one single crochet, two single crochet into the same stitch and we move on. So this is the third increase, the fourth increase, two single crochet into the same stitch and this is the fifth and the sixth increase. So if you count the stitch in this round, you're gonna you're gonna end up with 12 stitch 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so if you count back from the from the loop if you have a uh, if you have a problems or a hard time to identify the first the first stitch that you done of the round you know the place where you're supposed to do slip stitch you can count back from here from what you done so count back for 12 from here and you end up here so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're supposed to slip stitch, slip stitch here. Oops. And okay, we're supposed to slip stitch here to close the round. And one single crochet to start the round. And next round is gonna be one single crochet. Of course, into the same the same stitch that we do slip stitch earlier. So one single crochet and then increase. The next stitch is increase, which is 
two single crochet into the same stitch and then one single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the next stitch and repeat this until we back to the start again so one single crochet into the next stitch and then increase which is two single crochet into the next stitch one single crochet and then increase one and two into the same stitch one single crochet and increase and one single crochet and increase and slip stitch here and then one chain to start the round next, next round is gonna be two single crochet and then increase so the first single crochet is gonna be in the same place that we do slip stitch as always so one single crochet and two single crochet into the next stitch so we do one single crochet into the next two stitch and then we do increase which is two single crochet into the same stitch and so we do one and two and increase and repeat it for the si for six time and one and two and then increase increase here and be careful when you got some tangle yarn like this this can turn into some annoying things if you cannot untie it so slowly take time okay and what do we left yes increase two single crochet into the same stitch and next is gonna be one single crochet two single crochet and increase which is two single crochet into the same stitch here and okay let me pause the video for a little bit to okay i'm finished untie the yarn and let's continue where do we left okay so one single crochet and two single crochet and then increase two single crochet into the same stitch here and single crochet into the next two stitch one and two and then two single crochet into the same stitch here and then we do slip stitch here at the first stitch of the round slip stitch and one chain when you do slip stitch to uh, to close the round make sure you do it tightly if you don't slip stitch tight enough here here this plus this pr process so slip stitch here make sure that the slip stitch is tight if it's not tight you may end up with uh, some visible line here at the end of, of the round and it turned into a seam which doesn't look good okay one chain to start the round for the next round we're gonna do one single crochet into each stitch so just one single crochet into every stitch so this is two and three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen 19 20 21 22 23 and 24 
So you should have 24 stitch in this round. And by counting the stitch, it makes sure that you don't skip or maybe accidentally increase the, the stitch of the round and make the doll look like proportionally. So it's not, you know, it's look like it should look like. I didn't speak in front of the camera for so long. Okay. And for the next three rounds, we're going to do the same thing, which is one single crochet into each stitch 24 times per round. And I will see you again after we finish that. Okay, now we finish round 8 and it should look something like this. And for the for round 9, we're going to start decreasing. So we're going to start to close this piece of work. So first thing first, we're going to do a single crochet into the next two stitch and then we're going to do decrease which is SC two together, single crochet two together. So first we do one single crochet and two single crochet. And then we do single crochet two together. So hook this and then you hook it through. This is single crochet two together or or as somebody call it, decrease. So we do two single crochet and then two sing single crochet, two together. And two together and repeat this for the for six time. So we already do, uh, we already done two of them. And we're going to do another four times of this. So one single crochet, two single crochet, and then single crochet, two together. One single crochet, two single crochet, and single crochet, two together. One single crochet, two single crochet, and two together, one single crochet, two single crochet, and single crochet, two together. And as a way, close the round by slip stitch here, slip stitch, and then one chain to start the next round. 
and for the next round we're gonna do one single crochet and then single crochet two together so single crochet and make it two together one single crochet and single crochet two together and when we and when you do two together make sure that this tree is equally no, no one is like longer than another one if sometimes for the beginners the the decreased stitch uh the two single crochet two together this one sometimes can cause a big hole happening because you didn't do it tight enough or some of the yarn is loose and it's made quite a big hole on your work so you have to be careful with that and one single crochet and then single crochet two together one single crochet and single crochet two together one single crochet and single crochet two together one single crochet and single crochet two together and before we slip stitch to close the round here I'm gonna stuff the fibers in so it can be stuffed easier if we stuff it now and make sure you spread the fibers equally inside sometimes if the fiber got clumped together into one side it can make your it will make your door like how to say that is not in this it not in the sphere shape it's not gonna be like look like a circle but it's it maybe look something like this you know when when the fiber is clumped at one side instead of equally separate in 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 inside this piece the piece of work so make sure you squeeze it around and stuff it tight and be generous with the fibers the key is be generous with the fibers so stuff it as just tight and you feel that you cannot stuff anymore it always turn good it's always turning out quite good for me okay you got all circle and all and every side look equally and we're back to the crochet part and slip stitch to cross to cross the round here slip stitch one chain and in this round we're gonna do single crochet two together all the way around so I think it's gonna be six times yeah six single crochet two together for six times so first single crochet two together and the second single crochet two together the third single crochet two together and four single crochet two together five single crochet two together and last one six single crochet two together And here, if you still feel like you have more space, you can stuff fiber more here. You can stuff more. I'm going to leave it here. And we close the round by slip stitch at the first stitch that we do for this round. So slip stitch to cross the round. And now we finish with snowman's head, the head of the snowman. So we cut the yarn and fasten off. So leave some length of yarn. We're gonna use this, this, this length of yarn for sewing. 
the head and the body together. So cut the yarn and fasten off here and it will secure tightly. And now we got a snowman head, set it aside and next we're going to do his body. So the body is start the same way that we do the head. If you miss anywhere, you can skip back to the head part. So yeah, we're going to start the same way. So we're going to start with six single crochet into circle. And as I said before, if you prefer uh, magic ring, yes, feel free, feel free to do that. I'm doing two two chains and then six single crochet into the first chains. This is three and the next one is four, five, six. Since it's going to be exactly the same for the third, the, the third round, I think. Yeah, so I'm going to be a little bit faster for this first couple of rounds. So one, two, three, four, five, six and slip stitch. Hold it tight so we don't have any open hole here. Slip stitch to start the second round. And next round is going to be increase uh, two single crochet into the same stitch for six time. And we're going to end up with 12 stitch for, for second round. So one single crochet, two single crochet into the same stitch. And one single crochet and the two single crochet into the same stitch. And next round, next stitch, one and two, and one and two, one and two, and two into the same stitch. And you will end up with 12 stitch on this round. And yes, as always, slip stitch at the first stitch to close the round and start with one chain. <clears throat> and next round, we're going to do one single crochet and then two single crochet into the same stitch or increase. So we do one single crochet and then increase. Increase one single crochet and then increase which is two single crochet into the same stitch and we just repeating this until we meet the starting point again so one and then two and one into the next stitch ooh, 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 and then two into the next stitch and now you are back to the starting point if you confuse if if you cannot identify this, you can. There's two options for you. First is to counting back the stitch, and second one is to use a uh, stitch marker. If you don't want to buy a stitch marker, you can use a safety pin to do it. So just grab one of your safety pin, and when you start the round, you put it in and close it. Now you know where is your starting point and you can just working and when you reach reach this point like this you just take it off and slip stitch slip stitch and next round we do one chain and two single crochet no, one single crochet into the next two stitch and then we do increase so we do one and two so if you have a problem identifying the first the first stitch of the round use the safety pin or stitch marker to mark the point clip it in and just crochet normally so next is gonna be increase which is two single crochet into the same stitch and now we do one to the next stitch and another one to the next stitch and then we do two into the next stitch which is increase and we and we repeat this one and two and increase one two into the same stitch 
one and two and then two single crochet into the same stitch or increase one and two and increase and one and two and then increase and now we are back to the starting point again and if you have a stitch marker or a safety pin you know this is the place where we're going to do a slip stitch and i'm going to remove it now because i don't i don't like it it it's getting in the way when i do it so if you're beginners and have uh, trouble identifying where is the first stitch where is the place that you should do slip stitch use that use the safety pin to help you and slip stitch here one two three four for this four round it exactly the same as the head part so if I do something too fast you can go back and see how things go in a slower motion or you can use a setting on the lower of on the PC. You can click on the setting and choose the play speed and shoot it 0 0 uh, 0.25 or 0 0.5 for slower. And next round, we can we can we still gonna do some increase in the next round. So for the next round, one chain and single crochet into the next three stitch so one two three and then increase which is two single crochet into the same stitch here so one and two into the same stitch so we do one to the next another one to the next and another one to the next and then we do two single crochet into the same stitch and repeating this and one, two, three, and then two single crochet into the same stitch. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, and two into the same stitch. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet and two single crochet into the same stitch one two three and two into the same stitch and slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the round now i'm thinking Should I make the body bigger than this or should I end up with this? Okay, I'm I'm gonna do a mini version so he's he's not gonna be very, very big or so. So okay, if you wanna be if you want to make him bigger, I think you can see a trend here. So it's one thing so you start with six single crochet and then we increase one single crochet per each round right now we do increase one and then increase two and then increase three and then increase you can continue to four five six seven as big as you want i'm gonna stop here if you want his body or his head to be bigger just go as far as you want and once you get the side you get to the side that that you want we do one single crochet into each stitch for a couple of rounds when you get the shape of half half of the, of the semi sphere that that's when the increasing start okay so for the next round one two three four five the sixth round we're gonna do one single crochet into each stitch in this round I think it should be 30 I'm not sure. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So if you follow my pattern, my tutorial exactly, we should end up this round with 30 stitch. And we're going to repeat this one single crochet into each stitch for in total of 30. For a couple of more rounds, I think until we reach this height, and you can see the round number here. But now I don't know. So I'm going to see you again. One Okay, we finished round 11 and next is round 12. In round 12, we're going to start decrease. So we're going to do, we end, we stop at three single crochet and then increase here. So we're going to do three single crochet and then decrease. So we first we're going to do three single crochet single crochet into the next three stitch so one two three and then decrease our single crochet two together 
So we do single crochet, two together to decrease the work. And then we repeat all of this until we finish the round. So we do one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, and single crochet, two together. Two and together. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, and then single crochet, two together. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, oops, three and then two together. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, and single crochet, two together. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, and single crochet, two together. And we close the round by slip stitch. Slip. Mm, something. Slip stitch. Yes. And then one chain. And next round, we're going to do single crochet into the next two stitch. So we do one single crochet, two single crochet, and then single crochet two together. Or somebody call it decrease. It's the same. So one single crochet, two single crochet, and single crochet two together. Two together. One single crochet, two single crochet, and then single crochet two together. One single crochet, two single crochet, and single crochet two together. One single crochet, two single crochet, and single crochet two together. One single crochet, two single crochet, and single crochet two together. One single crochet, no, 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 one chain, one chain to start the round. And then we do one single crochet and single crochet two together. So we do two together and repeat. So one single crochet and then two together. One single crochet and 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 the last single crochet two together. And yes, before we slip stitch to close the round, stuff this with polyester fibers. Okay, next we're going to slip stitch to close the round here at the first stitch of the chain. At the first stitch, slip stitch and one chain. And for this round, we're going to do single crochet two together all the way round. So 
two together two together two together all the way around to close this one and two together two together and two together and then slip stitch at the first stitch of the round and be careful if you don't sl okay slip stitch and we will end up with a little hole like this which doesn't matter to us because we're gonna sew we're gonna sew head and body together so now do, we don't see this hole anymore but if you decide to put this to the bottom here you may be sewing them to close it to close this hole but why do that why doing complicating we can when we can do something easier so we cut the yarn we don't have to leave the yarn here because we already have this for sewing so slip stitch and stuff this inside the body part and now we're gonna sewing head and body together and this hole should be in the same place so it should look something like this after we finish sewing you may have to leave the yarn a little bit longer than this i think this is a little bit too short we may end up doesn't we may end up don't have enough for sewing let's see if i can do it with this very short so to secure the yarn you can simply just run your yarn in and out in a different way and run it through the body part and get it out to like very bottom very bottom bottom of the body and cut it This is going to be quite secure for the yarn and you don't have to tie any knot but if you feel insecure about this you can tie the knot somewhere to make it even more tighter and secure i usually uh love it like this and when i even i throw this into a watching machine it's still attached together never have problems falling apart if you buy, if you ever buy an amigurumi dolls, or a crochet dolls, and when you, and when the time pass by, the past is falling. Most of the time is because they use glue to attach the piece together instead of sewing like this. So if you, if you decide to use the glue, you have to keep that in mind that when the time pass is, is going to fall apart. But if you're sewing this like this, I have one of them in my house back in Thailand where it's like 10 years old and I watched them so many times, it's still at, it's still attached together and nothing fall apart. They may be flattened a little bit because, you know, for a long time fibers start to clump together and that is the reason why you should stop this very tight here. This is like, oh, I can push it in. 
and now we got a snowman buddies what are we gonna do next okay let's give him an eye okay um quiet what is this ink coming from what is this ink coming from wait Okay, I'm on, I am on the lazy side today, so I'm going to use this plastic eye. This is 10 millimeters plastic eye. And you can just use black yarn or black thread to embroider the eyes. But like I say, I'm on the lazy side today. And if you decide to do the, to use the plastic eye like this, it's better to leave a very a longer yarn like and instead of secure the yarn after you finish sewing the head in you use that leftover yarn to sew this plastic eye into the door this is the smallest size that i have so he gonna turn up he gonna end up with very big eyes if you have a smaller one, feel free to use it or you can use uh, if you have like a button is that a but button button yeah the one with the four hole inside <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce that button yeah I think it's a button so first we adjust where we should put the eye in you know you can put it close together or very far apart depends on your like i think around here is cute yes around here is very cute here and over there i'm gonna use a safety pin to mark the spot and I come back to that eyes again and also this eye to okay so when you're tying a knot look like this and roll pull it and you can and you can make the knot if the knot is not big enough you can just repeating this for this is just two time and we end up with a very big knot and find somewhere to make the way in and the knot should stuck somewhere around here and that hole And sewing around the neck to secure the eyes. Okay. He can stand properly if you push the bottom part a little bit flat so he can stand so you can use him as a decoration and next I'm gonna make him a little hat and a little scarf so because it's gonna be Christmas so I'm gonna use red red and green let's see how it turned out
oh before we make him a hat and glove a scarf and hat okay whatever i'm gonna i forgot to make him a nose so i'm gonna use orange yarn and crochet a nose for him so first i'm gonna start with two chain and yes you can do magic ring two chain and then four single crochet into the first chain or magic ring with four single crochet so one two three and four and i'm gonna show the this side out instead of this side so i'm gonna show the wrong side out because it's really hard to flip this through yeah it can and i'm gonna work in spiral instead of working in round like like i do with his body and head so i'm not gonna slip stitch i'm gonna continue doing single crochet into each stitch so this is the first one and two and three and then four it's gonna be very hard to see because it's clumped together inside and you just continue this until you have the length that you like so I will assume that this is a carrot that we put into a snowman head to make it look like a nose. So three and four. So in total of three round, I think this should be enough. So I'm going to put it here. Mm, maybe too much. Okay, I think it's too much. So I'm going to one, two, three, four somewhere here okay this is a perfect size so just two round and or any any length that you prefer you don't have to follow exactly you know if you want it to be longer you can just continue and make it longer i'm gonna stop with this and leave some length of yarn for sewing cut the yarn and slip stitch no slip stitch <laughs> fasten off and use your use the hook to hook this this yarn in in into the inside just hook it inside and yes okay and there's this flip and now we're gonna sew in this into his nose, his little orange nose. The nose is finished. Okay. Next is gonna be his hat. So for the hat, first we're gonna start with four single crochet into circle like the same way we start the nose 
but this time we're going to work in round not in spiral so four single crochet into the first chain so one two three four and then slip stitch at the first stitch one chain when you start the next round and two single crochet into the same stitch here or increase increase it and then one single crochet into each stitch so one two and three and carefully put it put it and slip stitch to close the round slip stitch to close the round one chain to start next round so in the same way we two single crochet into the same stitch or increase so one increase and then one single crochet into the remaining stitch so one two three and four it's gonna be a little bit hard to see on the screen I think because it's red and we have a lump over it and slip stitch to close the round one single crochet and four five six now we have six single crochet next is gonna be one single crochet and then increase so two single crochet into the same stitch and repeating this so we do one single crochet and then two single crochet into the same stitch and one single crochet and two single crochet into the same stitch and then slip stitch to close the round One chain, two uh, single crochet into the next two, so one single crochet, two single crochet, and then two single crochet into the same stitch, and repeat. So we do one single crochet to the next stitch, and another one to the uh, next stitch, and then two single crochet into the same stitch one to the next stitch one to the next stitch and two to the next stitch so this is one and two and slip stitch to close the round and let's see how it's turning out I just make it and didn't test it just okay it's really cute and um, be a little bit more so next round is gonna be I'm gonna change to the green so it can be Christmas so in order to change the colors seamlessly we pull it back a little bit so before we close the last stitch before we finish the last stitch instead of hooking the red yarn I'm gonna hook the green yarn instead so hooking green yarn in and slip stitch to cross the round one chain and at this point you can just cut the red yarn and next round we're gonna do three yeah single crochet into the next three stitch so one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and then two single crochet into the same stitch one two into the same stitch one to the next stitch the one to the next stitch and the one to the next stitch and then 
two single crochet into the same stitch one to the first stitch and one to the second stitch another one to the third stitch and then we do two single crochet into the same stitch here and slip stitch to close to round and as you can see we don't see any seams of the red yarn coming to this and leave some length of yarn and cut the yarn and fasten off so oops so we're going to use so we're going to use this for sewing the hat to the snowman and for this uh, red yarn just put it inside and here we're going to sewing them should it like this or like this up to your like you can put it anywhere you want so i think i'm gonna put him should i yeah i'm gonna put him right in the middle of his head so if i want to make him into an ornament i can just simply put uh, more yarn here and make a loop and I can turn him into an ornament to decorate the Christmas tree or if not I can just let him like this and put it him and putting him on my table side as a decoration doll okay let's sewing this I'm going to use the red yarn here to make him a scarf, a very easy scarf. So leave some tail here so we can do with it later. First, we're going to start with six chain. Yes, six chain. So first chain, two, three, four, five, six. So now we have six chain. We're gonna do double crochet. One double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. So we count it back. One, two, three. So we're gonna put our double crochet here. So one double crochet. And double crochet to the next stitch. Two double crochet and three double crochet next we're gonna do three chain one two three and then flip your work and make another another three double three double crochet here so we make one, two, and three. And just repeat this. Three single three chain. Flip your work and three double crochet. Why is it hard to pronounce? Three double crochet. So one two and three three chain one two three flip your work 
three double crochet. So one, two, three. Is that the right spot? It's okay. One, two, three. And then three chain. One, two, three. Flip your work. One double crochet. One double crochet. Two double crochet. And three double crochet. And just repeating this until you get the scarf as long as you want. So I'm going to repeat this. Three chain. Three double crochet. One. Two and three. One, two, three. Flip the word. And three double crochet. And three. And let's see how it is. I think it's a little bit too thick. I should. Mm, it's okay. But I think just two may be better. Yeah. Just two may be better, but we already done it, so just continue. Three chain, one, two, three. Three double crochet. Two and three. Two, three, three chain, three double crochet. Three chain one two three flip your work three double crochet another way to make a scarf is to do a long chain and work single crochet or double crochet back okay just continue one two three and three double crochet one, two double crochet, and three double crochet. I think another round. One, two, three. One double crochet, two double crochet, and three double crochet. And let's see. More a little bit more. I think four four rounds should be one, two, three. One, two, and three. One, two, three. And one. Two and three. Two, three. Flip the work. One. Two and three. One, two, three. Flip your work. Three double crochet. Okay, I think we got the right. Okay, I think we got it. So once we get to the to the length that we want, leave some length of yarn for maybe some extra sewing. And fasten off.
Now we got quite a long scarf here and I'm just gonna wrap him with like this. So I think I'm gonna lower the scarf a little bit. So it be... Okay, like this. So I'm gonna use a pin to hold this for me a little bit. Okay. And now I'm gonna use Now we're gonna take care with this tail and then yeah take care with this tail first. So I'm gonna first run my needles along the edge of the scarf running up, up just roughly and you can finish somewhere under the part the part under another side of skirts. <laughs> scarf. Uh, it's a scarf, yes. Scarf. And then before you pushing the needle through, you put the tail in here. So if you put the tail first, you're gonna have a hard time running the needles through the edge of the scarf. So and put the yarn here, and then you pull the needles to run this excess yarn here and adjust the length now we have a seamless little scarf for one side and this one you can just tuck it in under underneath because we're gonna sewing this afterward and this one because we have a longer so we can just put it in the needles And the same way, we're gonna run this through the edge, through the edge of the scarf. Slowly run it to somewhere here. And adjust the length so it doesn't look weird. Okay, after we finish with this, I'm gonna use this to sewing this part where where we I use the sift where I use the pin to mark the the spot. Oh, my speaking getting bad. Pardon me for that. Okay, just sewing this together. What 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 should I? Yeah, just just sewing them together. At first, I was planning to just sew the scarf so it may be rotated. So I changed my mind just to just sewing them into the body of the snowman. So this scarf is tightly in this position and only this tail can be wiggling around. And sewing them. Now our snowman is finished. It's done. Yay. What do you think of this snowman? Leave the comment below. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and comment below. What do you think I'm gonna do next for this upcoming Christmas? And if you're still not subscribed, please subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon so you don't miss any new videos coming from this channel. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you I hope everyone having a wonderful day. And see you again soon. This uh the print the print pattern can be found in my blog. And 
any other any anything else if you make this please send me a photo near via instagram tumblr or facebook i would love to see and thank you again for watching see you again in the next video bye